Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. This is Angela with another edition of Notes on the News Feed, where I read you, read you headlines and my reactions to them if I feel like sharing them at the moment. <laughs> now, I might have read or skimmed the whole article. I might have just read the headline, and I might have read the headline plus the paragraph that comes after it. But you can read the whole article by going to my Twitter feed, Be Fabulous You. I send all my links over there. Um, so if there's something that kind of catches your attention and you're wondering what happens, go on and find that link and check it out. Um, Be Fabulous You on Twitter. And when I get a chance, I'll shoot the link into the description box. But let's go because y'all know these the news just keep right on feeding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ice cream maker Hagen dazs scoops out its biggest ever rebrand. Company branding, rebranding. They're trying to be more young and hip and, and Instagram friendly. <laughs> um, I think it's interesting. Um, I guess there's an art to it. I don't know if there's a science to it because I think sometimes these rebrandings don't work. But I do think it's interesting. Um, <clears throat> caught my attention. Qatar Airways CEO, sorry for calling U.S. air hostesses grandmothers. I remember I used to work with this, um, um, one of the first youth programs that I ran. I had a, a young woman from Jamaica. And when I asked what she wanted to be when she, you know, grew up more, she said an air hostess. I'm like, an a air hostess? What, what is an air hostess? A flight attendant, a stewardess, the hostess to the mostess while you in the air. I'm like, oh, that was like a whole new concept for me. It's probably less used in the United States than um, other parts of the world because I see they're using it on here. So anyway, their app, the average age of flight attendants is 26 on this airline. And if the picture of the man who made the comment is, is the, if the picture that was with the article is the actual picture of the man who made the comment, he looked like he's a grandfather or a great grandfather. So what is his issue with um, grandmothers? And, you know, I, I just think this whole ageism you know, attack on people, especially women, for being old and being older when we're all getting older is really some bull. So anyway, and I've been following Qatar stuff. This is the first Qatar thing I've seen that made me, you know, give you Qatar the side eye. But you know, I know that, the, you know, one cor corporate person or one person is not the whole country represent for any at all. So, um, Sub-Saharan Africa fastest growing mobile Uber base 535 million subscribers by 2020 <clears throat> mounting research seems to indicate severe constant stress may alter children's brains and I'm thinking about baby girl who was in the car when um, her father was um, shot several times by a police officer and her mother was um, filming the aftermath of it um, as a, a situation of extreme stress but I think of all of the children and, and the things that you know they observe and the things that they pick up and the things that they're exposed to and the things that we as adults worry about and they by extension as children worry about and the fact that black and brown people are under so much stress in small ways and in large ways, um, you know, directly and indirectly, macroaggressions and microaggressions, um, and just, you know, kind of how it affects, you know, us developmentally. And again, it just gives me just so much more appreciation for us because given the constant continuous assault, <laughs> that we have been under in some ways it's amazing that we're able to function at all and so many of us are so high functioning and so amazing and so dynamic and so successful and so talented and so amazing it's just like imagine who and what we would be without all of this mess and confusion around us if we were just carefree free to be like the other people seem to be, imagine. 
uh, did, was it, uh, who was it who had Fear of a Black Planet, that song, which I don't know if I've ever heard, but I love that title. Um, dang, because Professor Griff was part of the group, wasn't he? Because they were coming to my school, and it was Professor Griff, it was all this drama and mess and confusion. Um, so anyway, but anyway, and that's no surprise either. Um, <clears throat> the harmful health effects of airport scanners, according to experts. I think they just uh, have all this technology and stuff and we're, oh, there's an orange cat, and we're like guinea pigs for it. Like, we don't know the effects of having all of these electrical currents um, going around our heads. I remember at one point, all of these children were getting leukemia. That might be before your age, but does anybody else remember that? All the It was like every time you looked up, some child had leukemia. And then it turns out that a lot of these schools were positioned by... Um, electricity plants or you know places where they generate electricity and um, some people started to think that that was a connect that was a, a, a factor contributing to all these children suddenly having leukemia and coming down with leukemia um, but I just think you know we don't know how half the things we ingest and are surrounded by affect us and the companies don't care in other countries there is a little bit more regulation uh-oh, is that rain? There's a little bit more regulation of some things um, that we, you know, the corporations be like, don't regulate a daggone thing. The only thing I want to regulate is the, that I can get as much money as I can get. But anyway. <coughs> so, um, and I went through scanners. I don't know if it's these newfangled scanners, but even at the dental office, they're like, oh yeah, you know, a little, you know, x-ray. And it's kind of like, when I, when I, you know, it's kind of like, look, you got my records there. Go buy those records. Don't be x-raying me every time you see me. Go x-ray yourself. Shoot. Don't be x-raying me. Okay. Um, July 13th, 1863. New York City draft riots begin. I just skimmed the article, but um, it seems like 100, 120 people were killed, according to what I recall. And a hundred of those people were black folks. I was watching some videos on Tulsa on the um, green is it green? The community, the black community outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, in like the nineteen twenties, eighteen nine, I don't know, but what we call Black Wall Street. Um and that video was just very um I don't know if really disturbing is the word because I don't know. I guess I still do get disturbed by this stuff. So, yeah, it was disturbing. Um, but they just systemically pulled people out of their houses. They were burning houses. One guy said that his father had hid him in the attic. And when the people came and got his father, um, his father was like, please don't burn the house down. But he didn't tell them that um, his wife and children were upstairs. And they didn't, luckily, they didn't burn that particular house out. They were disarming black people. So if black people had guns, they were taking the guns away. They bombed from above. Um, so who has bombs? You, you got a bomb? Because is that like normal, um, you know, just, um, you know, your neighbor got bombs? That seems like some government stuff. Um, it was awful. It was awful. And then people were buried in unmarked um, graves. Um, it was just hateration and jealousy. That's what it seemed like to me. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, the new, I don't know what the draft was about, but why it's called New York City draft riots but and then you think about something like that like so once somebody you've built a business you have a home you're thriving you're doing well and then someone just comes into your home and into your community threatens to kill you kills people around you burns houses takes your property and people the white people were looting the houses um, you know, runs you out of town because I had heard before that they told people, look, you get on the train, you get out of town, whatever. Don't come back because they wanted the property. They, you know, did not want to see them thriving um, and just wanted they shit. They were robbers. They, they're gangsters. They just give me your shit. You know, check it in. That's what they used to say when I was a kid. Check it in when they would, when people were getting hundred dollar gym shoes and that was like, woo, they be check it in. Um, gangsters, thieves. Um, 
but then when all of that happens to you when you go to the next place how do you how does that affect your ability to rebuild um, you know how many times can you rebuild when somebody just keeps gank you know ganking stuff away from you you know how does that affect you emotionally how does that affect your children and you know your confidence and your comfort and your security your sense of your sense of you know your sense of your sense of being and you know <coughs> Airports are trying to find ways to deliver, to deliver food and drinks to gates. So you can order like they're deliver, um, developing programs where you can order like up to a day in advance. And like maybe you're in you, you're going to be flying out of Terminal A, but you know over at Terminal D and you flying out of Philly, they got Philly cheesesteaks and you really in the Philly cheesesteaks and they you you don't have time to get from Terminal A to Terminal D, but you can order and have it at your gate when you get there. Now, the only thing is, um, so that seems kind of cool. I'm not in the Philly cheesesteaks, but, you know, I just use that example. Oh, in, in Texas, all these meat eaters, you could have them. I don't know what they have in the airport because I didn't get around much. Um, they had a, um, are they picking up leaves today? Okay, I'm going a, I'm to a, um, cut this off. But anyway, I thought that was an interesting article. Thank you for clicking and sticking around for the video. Um, welcome and welcome back if you're subscribers or new subscribers. If you aren't, click the subscribe button down there. Give me a thumbs up, like the video, share. Um, have a wonderful day. Be you, be fabulous, be fabulous you. Peace.